My name is Kristen, Kristen Rubin, 26280 Northwest 206 Place, High Springs, Florida, I'm a board member of our Santa Fe River, and I'm reading the statement from Mike Roth, president of our Santa Fe River. He also emailed it to you, and I gave you a copy. Dear Commissioners, it is my understanding that your agenda for this Thursday night includes a hearing regarding a new Comores titanium mining operation. I would like to address this application with you personally, but unfortunately I will not be able to speak on Thursday. Please do not take my absence as indifference or assent in any way. There will be other members of our Santa Fe River there to present our views at the hearing. As I see it, this hearing has problems both in substance and in form. The issue with form is that the required announcement of hearing is confusing as to its nature. Many are confused as to whether they are addressing a master mining plan or a te telecommunications tower because of loose wording in the announcement. Even if your attorney, Mr. Sexton, is correct in his assessment that notification requirements are legally satisfied by the announcement, as representatives of the people, it would be ethical for you to postpone the hearing until accurate notification is posted. As for substance, this is a mining permit application similar to the one filed earlier by HPS for which you found it necessary to solicit consultant assistance in, in understanding the language, the science, and the ramifications of the operation. Wouldn't you deem it appropriate while you have a consultant under contract to have them assess this request for you as well? And if you don't want to use a consultant for this, wouldn't you want to be able to assess comments from the Department of Environmental Protection, the Army Corps of Engineers, and the Suwannee River Water Management District to help you with your understanding of the issues? As the least conversant in the science of mining, why must you be the first in a series of required approvals? The issues are quite similar. Excessive water use, reformatting of the recharge geography, chemical contamination of water flora, flows, flora and fauna disruption resulting from disruption of the wetlands, etc. Perhaps the biggest difference between the two permits is, a, is that HPS has no history in mining, yet Comores has a full and blemished past consisting of numerous violations cited by DEP just last year. HPS has not yet had the opportunity to show you how they will reclaim mine lands. Comores has had the opportunity but has yet to show reclamation. I can only believe that there are other forces at stake which are prompting the urgency with which this application is being rushed to hearing. For the sake of the people that elected you and the future of the health of Bradford County, we urge you to disclose any such forces and repel them. Either deny the application based on the character of the applicant or delay vote until the matter can be discussed and assimilated by the stakeholders and heard properly. Thank you in advance for your consideration of these serious matters. Very truly yours, Michael J. Roth, President of Santa Fe River.